This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. We have arrived in Sector 112 and request targeting data. Okay, everyone, uh, or I should say, hello, everyone. This is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship and Normal Prize. Um, we are getting out of here as quickly as possible. We've done what we need to do, and we don't need to... Uh, crap, I actually have to wait for everyone to get back. I don't... Wait. No. I don't have to wait. The only thing that don't have hyperdrives are our harvesters. Yeah, everything else has a hyperdrive. So they can just hyperspace up to the next level. So let's do it. Oh god. Don't tell me. Please don't tell me. Ugh, I hate the emergency hyperspace thing. Okay, hang on. I know how to fix this. Apparently you fix it by ending your recording. <laughs> um, I was going to exit out and do the thing I did last time, but it went on its own, so yay. I'm not going to do anything. Situation report 9.9. .9. Our fleet is hiding in a debris field approximately 3.8 light years from our last battle. We are hoping that the various pieces of wreckage in this field will allow us to escape detection. Good gravy, that was a big hyperspace. While we regroup, my team has been studying the data tapes we stole from the Imperial Research Base. The Imperial scientists were working on a way to take control of the beast and turn it into a living weapon system. Their experiments to control the beast by partially grafting it onto living subjects were unsuccessful. The native intelligence of the beast fragment ultimately defeats any control system. While their twisted experiments are useless to us, some of their methods of sterilizing failed experiments might be useful on a larger scale. I will pass along this data to engineering and to the Kalshto when it returns with reinforcements. Sterilizing the beast. Huh. Gotcha. This is recon vessel 214 now entering derelict area. Active shock mines. Don't scan as old as the rest of this battle wreckage. Looks like someone doesn't want intruders. There's a lot of intruders in this area. Kicking up something large on the sensors. Moving in. Spotted a siege cannon derelict. Ooh. Must have been part of whatever attack fleet fought here. It looks a little rough, but no serious damage. Relay its positional data and we'll send in a salvage team. Picking up enemy ship signals. Return to Mothership immediately, Recon 2 on 4. We're turning on a Vector 1096, full burn. Recon 214. I don't know why I always remember that one. Okay. So now we get to salvage a uh, um, derelict. This is going to be fun. That siege cannon might be adapted to our needs. Salvage it immediately. As you wish. Okay, um, so now No, we lost our sentinels <laughs> I forgot sentinels don't have hyperdrives <laughs> Okay, um, that's fine Hmm Because what I'm thinking of I for some reason I want to go very sentinel heavy on this mission since we're kind of playing around with them a little bit I forget how many harvesters we actually need to get this. Um, uh, I want to say six. Oh my god, that's going to be a lot of sentinels. That's going to be so many sentinels. Ugh, six times twelve is seventy-two. This is one reason why I wish they only required one. Is that going to only... I don't even have enough uh, support to protect one of the workers. Mm. Dang it, I wish I had Beast Mod. Okay, um, so how do I want to do this? 
I do want to start utilizing sentinels a little bit more. I don't know how exactly I want to do it. How much room does it take for a multi-beam frigate? 12. So if we retire two of them... God, I don't know what I want to do. I don't remember what we're actually going to be fighting. Um, I don't think it's anything big. I think it's just a lot of fighters and corvettes. And this isn't a this isn't gonna be a very um Receiving. uh battle heavy matchup. Coordinates locked in. So I don't think we are going to need protection on the heavy cruiser and whatnot. But let's go ahead and build six workers. Construction underway. We're going to need those. You know what? We're gonna do something stupid. I'm gonna retire all these guys. Return ship and stand down. Um, and we're gonna put a bunch of sentinels around the workers to see if that does anything. I might actually. Systems ready. Setting new course. Let's keep two of these. Ready for orders, command. Multi beam frigate moving out. Unlike. And I might retire these guys instead. Stand down, ship. I, I kind I just want to play around with sentinels, so this might be incredibly stupid, but I'm doing it. Okay, that dumb stupid idea is not going to work too well. I might keep I might keep all the dumb stupid ideas until we get um um until we play the campaign with Beast Mod on, because what I wanted to do was build have like a my heavy cruiser, two like high frigates or two multi beam frigates. And all of our resource collectors protected in a shield, um, but that's going to require way too many support units right now. And until we get carriers, we can't really support that kind of a um, military yet. So instead, we're going to build our six workers. I'm going to have these guys Multi -beam frigate online. making these group one. Setting assigned group one. Group one. Roger. Group two. By group two. And then we'll make the heavy cruiser group three. Setting assigned group three. And the heavy cruiser is going to stay back here. He's going to help protect the mothership. You guys are going to go here. Systems ready. You guys are going to stay here. I think once we get the ability to build the carriers and get our support units as high as we can go, I'll probably condense our military and just focus on having all of them with shields on. I really want to try this. I've never done something like this in Cataclysm before. But I do wish that Sentinels and Leeches, since they are a completely different class, only required one support unit. It makes sense because they're drones. They aren't commanded by anybody and they're very cheap to build because they're super small ships. So that's definitely a change I would like to do. Um, I'm also thinking of um, once I figure out what kind of... Um, software system that Beast uses to make his mod, I might do that, just make some small alterations of my own um, to kind of make the campaign a little bit better. Because I want to utilize shields a lot more, but it's hard to do when it takes 12 ships to, um, or 12 sentinels to put a shield on one of your ships, and that's 24 of your support units, which is over 10% of what we currently can have. So, yeah. That was 12. It would be a lot better. Also, one more thing I kind of don't know too much about. Setting assigned group four. I wonder if the um um what do you call it? Escorts assigned. If cruise missiles actually work against a shielded unit. Like will they just run into the shield and actually just damage the shielding? I don't know. I have a lot of questions about Sentinels, and all the all my multi-beam frigates are about to run into my command ship. Good job, guys. I'm proud of you. So glad you guys passed flight school and got yourself promoted multiple times in order to pilot a multi-beam frigate just to almost run it into my uh, mothership. Yeah. Good job, guys. <laughs> okay, we're coming up to it. 
We have raider ships closing in with that siege cannon. They must want it as well. Okay. Worker raider ships are coming. One. Worker ready. Salvaging. You guys go ahead and salvage. Worker here. Ready for orders, command. Multi beam frigate! Multi beam frigate destroyed. Ah, uh, dang it, anti capital ship mines. <laughs> oh god, there's another one. Oh god, there's two more. This is gonna hurt. Please don't kill my worker. Okay, good. Oh god. Hello. Salvage group under fire. The Raider Corvettes are disguised as wreckage. Watch each other's back out there. Stand by group we will. You guys get over here. Okay, so it only required four. I couldn't remember. Alright. Well, there's a lot of fighters and corvettes coming out. Stand by group one. Ready, gun. Get over here. Attack Fire. these. Fire. Enemy vessel. Now wonderfully controlled. Good, good. Worker you ready. keep everything alive. By group one. Worker here. Roger, man. Turrets online. You guys go, go, go. Keep kill. Everything. Use all of your multi beams. Go, go, go. There we go. Good job, good job. Good, good. We're working on it. Can't you tell? We got all of our multi beam. Raider ion frigates have decloaked and are uh -oh. firing on us. All ships return fire. The pirates have cloaking technology as well as mimic fields. They could be anywhere. Worker is reporting damage. Yes, they could be. Okay, they're focusing on the workers. That's fine. Oops. You are, are capture. Come on, guys. Come on. Keep destroyed. Worker destroyed. Worker destroyed. Command ship is under attack. There we go. Come on. Target beams now. Worker here. Multi beam frigate online. Okay. Okay. We're still doing okay. Turrets online. These guys are really hurting us. Keep. Keep using your weapons. Four left. Ooh, cool. So I think we get. Um, I think that's advanced sensors research. Okay. Oh, guys, get over here. Escorts assigned. Woo. Yes, advanced sensors. Research underway. Cool. That'll help us detect the enemy. I think we're good for now. I think we somehow survived. Okay. I want to rebuild those multi beam frigates that we just lost. At the same time, let's get shielding. Can we have enough for two? Nope, just one. Beginning construction. Give some defenses. Maybe have one of our multi beam frigates have a shield on it. That would be nice. And see, if I was able, if I was able to shield these four, that would have helped out so much because they were just getting pummeled with missiles. I can't wait to replay this with uh, um, Beast Campaign, or Beast uh, Mod. I really can't wait to play it. <laughs> See, I think about Sentinels is I've always known that they have shields, but the, like I said in the last episode and this episode, my main problem with them is the fact that they take 12 support units. I wish they took one, because, I mean, they're just drones. They shouldn't take two. Fighters, or acolytes, actually have people inside them, and um, so they require more support, where drones, is, it's just a computer. It shouldn't require a whole lot of support or processor power to use. Whoa, what's going on now? The Raiders have called in for help. Uh-oh. The large Imperialist fleet is hyperspaced in. Prepare for a new wave of attackers. Oh, God. Okay, that's cool. Everything is cool. Um, group one. Group one. I'm moving. Stay here. 
Group two. Group two. I want you to be here as well. Group three. You should be good. Our, um, workers, keep everyone alive. Well, including yourself. Understood. Oh, God dang it. Our engineers are ready to begin adapting it to our needs. We also need to start gathering resources in order to build a mount module for the cannon. Um, don't worry too much about that. We already have what we need for that. So let's go ahead and research that. Once we get all of our sentinels built, we'll put it around one of our multi-beam frigates so they stay alive. I have a feeling that they're going to be more of a threat. Wow, our mothership took a little bit of a hit too. Huh. Research. Didn't realize that. Okay. Is there anything else we can research right now? Nope, just the siege cannon. Okay, so we have to defend the mothership until our siege cannon is built. Why is my... Oh, whatever. <laughs> The game is old. There's gonna be glitches. I'm like, why am I stuck using my special thing again? Like, last mission. I don't know. Whatever. That is a lot of fighters. Oh my god. Alright, you. I want you to get over here. You're the one that's gonna get the shield. And as they slowly get closer and get in range, I want you to kill them. We got one more sentinel built and are ready and then we can put shield on one of our uh, multi-beam frigates. Fire, fire, fire. Go, go, go. Alright, you guys shield it. Okay. So glad these guys are good against these type of ships. Couple multi gun corvettes. They have more armor, but I have to get hit by the heavy cruiser. <laughs> That'll work. There we go. Report hostiles by group one. Distance ready. You're now shielded, buddy. Ready for orders, command. Okay. Cool. Stand by group one. They <laughs> still haven't repaired him. <laughs> Thing I put the shield on him. <sighs> oh god, here comes a heavy cruiser. The pirates have built up another attack wave. They're vectoring to join the assault. This could be very bad. Imperialists or Imperials and Tidan working together. Okay, let's build that siege cannon. Construction underway. Heavy cruiser, we're gonna need you. Shields. I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go on the heavy cruiser. Oh boy. That is a powerful attack fleet. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, group two. Stand by group two. Get up here. Underway. Oh god, here they come. Group Stand three, group you get over here. Up here, group three. Stand by group one. Multi beam frigate moving out. We have a hyperspace signature. It's one of ours. Ooh, who is it? Attention, Kun Lan. This is the Cow Show. Mm. We have arrived with reinforcements from Megara. Come to us. That's not creepy at all. That's Good completely to normal. Again, Cow Show. We need your help, but that pirate attack wing has changed course to intercept you. Be careful. Hmm. That sounds, uh, very weird. Okay. Stand by group two. Stand by group, group one. one. By group one. Start attacking them. Good. That heavy cruiser is still here. Targeting beams now. Cruiser, once your shield gets all the way on, there you go. Stand by group one. Group fire, one. Fire, Stand fire. By group, group two. two. Oh my god. I have three destroyers. Oh god. This is gonna hurt. Multi beam frigates, you guys get back here. Stand by group one. Stand by group two. 
Ah, god dang it. Or two. Ugh. Hurting my shields. Ah! Group two. Okay, so it looks like they're all moving away now. What could have the Tyrannic Raiders have found? Oh, hey, look. Yeah, I think the cow show has been infected. And here comes what used to be our lower hangar module. Martyrs. Look at what that thing has done to our lower deck section. It's grown an entire mothership around it. What is this thing? It's the beast. There it goes. Infecting the tyrannic raiders. The Imperial fleet is breaking off to engage the beast. Do not pursue. Regroup and prepare to fire the modified cannon on the beast mothership. All right, sounds good. Guys, get back here. Stand by group one. Group two, get over here. Stand by group three. Group three, you get back at the mothership. Okay. Well, this is gonna be fun. Our siege cannon is almost built. Good. Stand by group one. Group one. Escorts assigned. Group two. Escorts assigned. Group three. Escorts Everyone assigned. just guard the mothership. Interesting. It's talking to us. What? How can it be talking to us? It's gaining intelligence as it absorbs new data. It must want the information we removed from the beacon pod we found it on. Hold fire with the siege cannon until the beast mothership is within the 100% damage range. Command. As you wish. Alright. Command ship, we need to start moving. Move it up to about there. It is, command ship is very interesting that a um, virus is talking to us, which is, it's so weird to think about because, you know, we're in this weird situation on, uh, I was going to say on Earth. <laughs> we are all on Earth at this moment, but who knows, maybe this video, someone's watching this video 50 years in the future and watching it from Mars or Saturn or whatever next planet we decide to colonize. Um, it's just very interesting while that um, the situation we have here, everyone is you know, freaking out because, oh my god, the world is coming to an end. This thing is, you know, taking over the world or whatever. And it could be much worse. It could be the beast. <laughs> Where not only does it take take you over, it also learns and adapts. Well, not really adapts, but also learns new information as it takes over and analyzes things and becomes smarter and smarter and smarter. Till eventually, you know, it becomes so smart that... Um, that it takes over the whole galaxy. So, for those people out there who are in quarantine or, um, you know, who are just trying to find some laughs and whatnot, just remember, things could always be worse. It can always be a lot worse than what it actually Escort is. Assigned. Stand by group one. Stand by group two. All right, group two. Um, group three, Stand actually. Group three. Got it, heading in. I want you to attack Command the iron can attack. frigates. Or iron, yeah, iron can frigates. Okay. Keep protecting the mothership. Affirmative. Ready to go. I don't know why I just told you to dock. <laughs> Wrong button. Okay. 
Can you keep up with the mothership, please? I greatly appreciate that. By the way, I have no idea how long this video is, is going to be after some of the cuts I had to make with, you know, the dogs going crazy because it's getting close to summertime. There's storms coming in tomorrow, so they're all, like, um, going crazy. All three of these guys are keeping each other alive. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm probably going to lose them. So, this video might be longer than normal. I apologize, but... It's just the way it is. All right. Bridge. Ooh, we still got a while. So, command ship. Um, keep moving. Ship is underway. Roger, command. Report of hostiles by group four. <laughs> They're just keeping each other alive. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Um, multi-beam frigates, if you want to, can you come back here and help my harvesters? I greatly appreciate that. Stand by group one. Group two, um, take care of these infected multi-beam frigates. Stand by group one. Um, heavy Stand cruiser, if you want to, eh, help out. Report of hostiles by group two. Multi-beam frigate online. Let's go, multi-beam frigates. Report of hostiles by group four. There you go. Harvesters are keeping each other alive, but we're not going to survive forever. There you go, guys. Use all of your ion turrets. Zap them. Zap them dead. That's what we're talking about. This is command. command ship, how close are you? By group four. Twenty-two percent. Okay, you have to keep moving. Worker destroyed. Moving core fleet. Ready for orders, command. Okay. Ready, by group two. Get up here and protect the yes, mothership. How are we doing here? Receiving. There you Target go. Acquired. Use your swarms, please. Heavy cruiser, get up here. Escorts assigned. There you go. Escorts assigned. Systems ready. Bridge. Okay. Their heavy cruiser is still on their way. Too bad it's, you know, not gonna see the day, the light of day. Let's see, about right there is where we need. So need probably another 11 more kilometers. Stand by group one. <laughs> go, heavy cruiser, go. Protect our guys. There you go. Good. Good. Alrighty. We're almost in position. This heavy cruiser. Open fire! Okay, okay, I will, I will. Um uh where's the stop button? Cancel. Okay. Z fire. Charging Z's cannon now. Stand by group one. Targeting beams now. And fire! There it goes. That heavy cruiser just got beast infected. We took it down to half. Wow. Let's see if this does anything. Boom. Nope, destroyed some of the frigates, but then destroyed the command ship. That sucks. Cannon has failed to disrupt the target. Beast's mothership is still active and closing fast. All ships prepare for emergency hyperspace jump. Okie dokie. Um, we will do that in the next episode.
Okay, that heavy cruiser is coming in fast. I don't want them to affect our her cruiser. So I am going to go ahead and uh, end this episode. So in the next episode, we can get to the next mission. So hope you guys enjoy this. Please leave a like if you did. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And I'll check you guys out in the next one. But until then, this is Captain Soban signing out. Attention fleet. Makan has found Valcora Gate. The coordinates are 11344890. We'll send everything we've got, but be advised, we are a mining vessel. It would be best if we did not have to move directly into the main battle.